and the third is this one. This one would be the final solution for until early late game, I assume. Good enough for now, and now this can be directly attached to the station, which will be here. And this will be a long train, so it needs a long station, typically before mm, I had trains up to the size of uh, one locomotive and four uh, cars. Which now I'm thinking is actually pretty stupid, since trains are known to be much more efficient when they are much longer. Mm. Mm. Now, how will this function? One idea was to have two locomotives on the same train pointing in opposite directions, and so each one of these lines is dedicated to one train. Then we don't need signals, but that's inefficient for obvious reasons. Mm. Of course, the previous idea of having lanes is probably much more efficient. Wait, can trains be programmed to reverse, is another question. angle good enough mm. wait oh yes of course
then so it enters from this line and exits from this line mm. and since currently this is a dead end we don't need any intersections since if it's in this area the only way to go is back out and so this can all be simplified and of course a rail system with less intersections is typically much better in fact one of the benefits of having the omnidirectional or laneless rail system is that there's technically many less intersections. Hmm. Actually. The station should be down here. And running out of tracks. Is this even large enough? Mm, assume yes. Copper should be the fourth car here. Ammunition the first, iron the second, and coal the third. Uranium will be the fifth. And Mm. Oh, no, that's mm, stone. Uranium is the sixth. And the seventh, which, which is liquid, should be oil. Yes. And of course, I actually devised a much better way of doing rail signals than the one I was using before. In this new system, instead of having them so, uh, so densely populated, which is largely unnecessary, especially for the intersections, mm, rail signals are much more dispersed. And was that exactly the amount of track there was? Because if so, then that's a miraculous coincidence. Mm. And so because it travels mm, on the right frontward, then that would mean that the actual station needs to be on this side, facing this way. And this is iron. Using the typical method, because why not? The standard loading system. Hmm. This looks like a feed rate that requires two belts. Perhaps more. Each belt has its own particular maximum. <coughs> maximum feed rate. And so four belts in parallel has quadruple the typical maximum. And so here, mm.
Oh, that's a problem. I can resupply both of these simultaneously, and that should be enough track for the final station. Eventually, we can have more than one train, and they can all be programmed with exactly the same firmware. Because they will all be performing the same actions, the only difference is which instance that train is. Mm. Should probably use the car for all of this. Normally, I would have a garage for it next to uh, the command center where, of course, you would have all of your personal necessities like this uh, personal processing for copper and iron for manual crafting and also these outputs of these uh, man uh, automatic crafters mm. these can all be produced uh, far away and routed to the command center of course All of this trash. Now, need to finish the first station, then begin the second. practically invisible tree. And so, uh, trying to split, mm, yes. So I was thinking of splitting this into three streams, mm, but four does not divide into three, uh, uh, or rather, I should say, much more accurately, 4 and 3 have no prime factors in common, no common factors. And so they're very difficult to work with together, very incompatible. Mm. Oh wait, I already have a method for doing this, don't I? Yeah, uh, at least something close enough. And it seems that close enough tends to be good enough. Wait, isn't... I think that's a redundant statement. Uh, it can't even accept this feed rate yet until we get better arms. Eventually we can have the, the arms that can grab many items, <laughs> which are actually here. Yes, the stack inserters, much better, but also require plastic, which requires oil industry, which we have none of, and so that requires a large startup cost. Also now we need to figure out how to make these again. <laughs> 